another one. Job applications are rejected quickly. Hi everyone, I've been actively applying for a senior QA job lately, but almost all of my applications are getting rejected very, very quickly, often within a day or two of submission. I'm starting to wonder if there might be something off with my resume that's causing this. I am based in the UK and have about 10 years of experience. Has anyone experienced something similar? So I would say that, um, I don't know how it works in the UK, but for you to be reject, being getting rejected that fast, uh, at least it shows that stuff are moving. Cause I know plenty of people here who will apply for a job and especially if they're applying online and, um, they don't hear back. Like I'm going to say that I'm going to throw out a number here. Maybe 90% of the jobs that you apply to, you don't hear back. Right. And then majority of them are going to be rejections for some reason. Like who knows? Right. Cause there's algorithms in play. There's, there's tools that they use to try to filter out, um, to try to filter out those, um, like based on the keywords of the job and the number of experience that they're looking for, they're trying to filter out. And then if you do get to, so th a lot of those rejections come from that. Right. Um, and then, um, and then once the recruiters look at it, they, then they reject, have some, um, personal rejections, like by personal, I mean, like once they look at it, okay, I don't think this is going to be a great fit. And then, so probably out of all the resumes that they get, they probably, they probably actually reach out to 10% of them, right? But have no fear because guess what? Guess what? You do not need every single job to give you an opportunity. You just need, you just need one of them to say yes, right? So you asked if there is something wrong with your resume, if something is off. And the answer is, most likely there is because, and we'll, we'll be reviewing a, not your resume uh, from the person who asked this question. We're going to be reviewing a different resume from someone who asks res resume feedback. So you can see so what I will do. I will share with you how, when I'm looking at resumes, how I analyze them, how I break them down, all of that good stuff. Right? So with that being said, something's probably off. Something is probably off with your resume. Right? Um, I mean, at least your resumes are getting through something quickly because a lot of people, they, like I said, they just wait and wait and wait until they never hear. And then, um, you know, so I definitely would recommend that you would, other than signing up for the Patreon and watching the video that I made about how to properly update your resume, things to look for, key things like that. But you need to, you need to look at your resume and you, you need to see what I always tell people, right? Everything that you list on your resume is a, um, it's a marketing point. You need to say, how did I add value in this role? Right, starting from your objective from your objective. How did you add value in the past? What do you know? How did how did how did what you know allow you to add value in your past? And how do you plan to use what you know and the value that you added in the past to add value in the future to the company that you're going to, right? Number one. And then number two, every single bullet point that you list under your under your jobs. So many people, they list it as a task list instead of as a, this is why I'm awesome. This is the cool things that I did. These are my accomplishments, right? I got that advice about, we're in 2023, had to be like eight to nine years ago. I got that advice from a recruiter at a company. And ever since then, that's what I look to, to do on my resume, um, to show the value that I add, right? Wherever I go. And add value. Like that's the thing. You can't, you can't show the value that you add if you're not adding value. So go and so make sure that, I mean, and I'm sure with, within 10 years of experience, you had to add some type of value. So write about the cool things that you did, right. And make it, make it sound glamorous to the people who are reading it. Okay. That is, that is the key that you need to use in order to have a successful resume. And you can increase the chance of your of your resume being seen and accepted and you get to move on to the next step. Also reach out to the recruiters who are posting these jobs. If like, that's if it's on LinkedIn, if it's on Glassdoor, you probably can't see that. If it's on 
I don't know. I, I never, I don't, honestly, I don't trust Indeed at this point. Um, no, but that's another, that's a whole other topic, right? Um, but yeah, like, I think that the people in IT, people in tech, they are super, super smart at QA, at, at software engineering, but they are terrible. And I say terrible at marketing how awesome that they are because I can see the awesomeness in a lot of the people that I talk to, a lot of people that I work with and stuff like that. But the question is, and I know you see the awesomeness in, as well because the cool thing that you know how to do, but do you know how to market it? And that is the key. You need to know how to market yourself, right? How to market yourself, how to make the right connections, how to get your resume in front of the eyes of the right people. You know, like I was talking about the conversation yesterday, networking versus resumes. At the end of the day, they go hand in hand. They are both important and you need to use every single thing to your advantage, right? Every single thing to your advantage, right? So that is the, that's how I see that, all right? So let's go back over here. And um, yeah, I want to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. What do you think? Um, do you experience that? Do you think that your resume is not up to par? What do you, what do you think? Let me know, all right? Let me know. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.